Well, you guys, and we're back with another video. Today, we are here with some space engineers, and today, you, you may see something a bit different. Here, you have a really, really low-quality image here, and then right here, we have a really pretty good quality, actually, and a lot more colors. This has probably, like, I don't know, 50 times the amount of colors this has color range. It has a huge color range and it covers everything it's pretty sweet anyways i'm going to show you how to get to that so these lcds as you may know are the normal ones that you know probably how to make if not i'll show you that real quick what you usually do is these ones are the classic setup with mono space and the tech or not the text padding something somewhere here is set to really low um the font size is set to low because when you do it higher you get really horrible pixels so that's how you set up that one as well as you use a program called image to LCD where you usually have this, you click convert and eventually it pops up with some code that you can copy and put into the public title to create this one of the public title of the text. That's how these ones are made. You copy this, you go in here, yeah, edit text, paste it in and boom you get your picture. And that's how you do these too. You use this, you split it two by two, the usual and that's how you get it. I usually don't use our LA code just don't use it it sucks and then you use monospace and so these are set up pretty simple stuff but you may be wondering how did I get this on this big one you can almost read these brands like it's actually pretty good and if I made it bigger you probably could see them and read them perfectly fine now how did I do this lovely picture of myself with Ryan Reynolds? Obviously his paper, but how did I manage to do this? Well, let me give you a secret. I have found another program made by another guy. And if I just pop on over here, this is True Color Pictures um, by Scripted Engineer. He has created an amazing thing that works. This is all I have for instructions by the way. This is all I ever get for instructions is this little four second clip as well as these instructions. They aren't, they don't cover that well so I will show you guys how to do it and Monospace has 512 colors. True Color has um, 16 million 777 thousand 216 colors so that's 256 shades for each of the RGB which I believe is the max. So I believe this is like Adobe RGB here, so you can do any colors. Now, he has the blueprint editor in the downloads, so what you want to do is you want to click on it, continue to external site. I'll probably put a link to it as well, maybe. And what you're going to want to do is go on to here. You're going to want to download this, and when you download it, you're going to want to extract it, blah, blah. It's just an EXE. You guys should know how to do that. And then, what you have is a program that will open up and it will look like this. This may be confusing because, well, there's no way to do images here, is there? Well, as it turns out, what you have to do is you click on Tools, click on LCD Image Converter, and boom, here you go. Now what you're going to want to do is just keep all these settings the same. Don't turn on dithering, don't turn on anything else, unless you want to split your image. Which I'll show you guys how to do that. So what you're going to want to do is open a picture, which of course I have this. And you are not going to want to touch this mono space at all. This quality here you see is essentially the quality you're going to get on the LCD. If you click convert, it's just going to turn into the mono space that you would normally use on this. So this program has both of them. So keep the default picture you have. Since it's square, I don't need to split an image. But I can show you guys how to do that next. So, and then you're going to want to have copy pound text and copy custom data. So have this here. Just make sure you know where that is. You're going to want to go to the game and I'll show you what to set up. So what you're going to want to do is you are going to want to have a programmable block set up. And just for uh, ease of access, let's delete these. And I shall place new ones. If I can figure out how. There's some new ones. Now we're going to want to do is your programmable block, you're not going to change anything on it except for the script data, which you want to click edit, I believe. You're going to want to click browse scripts. And that uh, Steam thing I showed you earlier, 
that was the script. So make sure you are subscribed to it. Just make sure you subscribe to it and yeah. You're gonna to wanna to make sure your server has scripts enabled. Hopefully it does, hopefully multiplayer has it. If not, you're gonna to have to use the old ways of doing it, which is normal monospace. But if the server has scripts enabled, which most servers do, you should be fine to add custom images. Just keep them appropriate. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do is search up true color and boom, you double click that, click OK and that's all you need to do in here for now. Every time you make a new image you do have to come back here and click recompile or it won't do anything and I'll show you guys that in a sec. So here we have a 4x4. I will show you a single setup first. So what we're going to want to do is there's only two things we need to do. We don't even need to touch mono space or that. It's so so beautiful. You're going to click copy panel text and then you're going to press F or open the public title box and Control V and paste it in. Then what you're going to want to do is go back, copy custom data, go back, press K, find the custom data, and put it in. Now as you're going to see, all this is left default, no content, nothing. Now here's the fun thing about it. When you click recompile, it is going to reload it. And if we go in here, it sets up all your settings for you. So do not touch any of this or it will turn off. Yeah, see, it turns off. No faction found. So yeah, it's it's pretty pretty cool. All you gotta do is recompile and it resets it. So there, you now have a beautiful picture that has a huge color range and the pixels are really hard to notice. So that's good for a lot of things. So now let's do splitting an image. If you're splitting an image, you want to click split an image. Again, don't touch anything here except for open, save, or copy stuff. Now since this is basically a one-to-one -one ratio, I'm going to be doing two rows by two columns. I'm going to click apply. Now how this one works, this is now the top left corner. So I'm going to copy panel text, press F, do that, go back to the program. I'm also going to copy custom data, press K, custom data, control V, and that is the top left one set up. Now, what you gotta do is go back here, click next, and it goes in rows, it'll go from left to right, left, right, down, just as if you're reading. Again, you're gonna wanna copy panel text, control V, and then you're gonna wanna do K, custom data, make sure you copy the custom data, and boom, now that it's the top right one done. Next, we're gonna want to do, again, the next one, which is the bottom left. So we're gonna copy panel text, paste it in, and then next we're gonna do custom data. So copy that, paste it in, and it doesn't take too much because you don't have to set up the LCD panel which is the most beautiful part of it. The only thing that's not beautiful is the fact that you have to copy two separate things, but hey that's how it works, so I'm not complaining. And then custom data, control V, and the thing is you only need one script block for an entire grid, which is very beautiful. So watch what happens when I recompile this. All of them will turn off and refresh. I think that's actually pretty cool. And when it's done, you have beautiful pictures and you can see everything. Like, you can almost see the brand. It's probably good that you can't because YouTube doesn't like that sometimes and so does other companies, but I mean, oh well. So with this, possibilities are endless. And now one thing I do want to try is now I actually want to try a image, I guess. So let's go find a good uh, sunset or something. So I'm actually gonna search up a sunset really quick. Um, sunset. Okay, so now we have a picture of a sunset. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this one. We're going to turn off split image because we're just going to do one image just to see how it looks first. And now we're going to want to browse. Here's the sunset I picked. So it'll, we'll click convert, wait for it for a second. And then we're going to put this one right there and see what it looks like in the old uh, ways of doing it. So we're going to copy the clipboard. We're going to go here. We're going to click K. We're going to edit text and 
I actually don't know how to reset these, so I just delete them. So I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna press K. We're gonna um, set this to text and images. Now, if you are using the old method, I would just suggest shift clicking all of them to edit all at the same time, but you know, I'm not, so edit text, control V, press OK, and then there you go. There is our what you can kind of tell is a sunset. And of course these uh, you do have to recompile usually when you do edit a solar panel, or not a panel, but something. So make sure you always recompile these. It just helps keep it. Um, yeah, when you delete panels it messes with it. So you do got to recompile, but I mean you could set up a timer block to recompile them once every like every hour or something and that would work pretty good too. So now we're going to split image off. Let's go open a picture. Let's go open the sunset. Oh, uh, and look at that beauty, guys. This is 2,000 pixels by 2,000 pixels, just so that you know. And I'm not sure what this sets it to, but we're going to copy panel text. So we're going to go here. We have to delete this, obviously. So we're going to press F. We're going to do Control V. Oh, yeah, these probably only turned off when I actually selected them all, highlighted them all. Apparently that probably messed with it. So we're just going to ignore that. Anyways, custom data. Press K, and then custom data, control V, and boom, now that should be a beautiful sunrise if I recompile it here really quick. And oh my god, the pixels are so small too, like, that is so beautiful, like, it's a huge difference from this. Like, what is this? You have waves everywhere, it looks super choppy, and then this thing. It's like, you can see individual rings. That's how good this is. It's so beautiful. Right versus left, which one would you take? I would take the one on the left. It looks way more beautiful than that. Just saying. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little tutorial.